You had some Jiffy cornbread in your pantry from 2019? And then... Previously with Peyton. Hey, Happy, birthday! Happy birthday! Thank you, Rick. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Look, Mike. Mike, he won't even Mike make he the money. even made me some money. <laughs> that pimping, that pimping right there. <laughs> ADHD. ADHD. Hold on, real really? quick though. I done had them smoked uh, turkey turkey necks in the refrigerator for about a week and a half. Can well, I come still on. eat them? What's the best buy date? Let's see. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. Do, 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 do. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. But with the heaviness, you're gonna get a little bit less recoil. Okay. Rather than later. We're not crying again. We're not crying again. Yes. But thank you for okay. everything. I love you so much. I love you too, Queen. Why you gonna make me cry? This my girl. You'll be back, though. Yeah. Back. I'm gonna come see you. Don't let these tears fool you. All right, all right. Make sure you're all caught up to the vlogs this year. And let's jump into today's Living Alone Diary and see what's going on. These are thug tears. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Welcome back to another Living Alone Diary. Y'all seem to like these, so I will continue. This particular day, I did Tom Thumb instead of Kroger's. I usually do Kroger's, but the Kroger's that I live near never has anything that I order. So I was like, okay, let me just spend a little bit more coin and shop at Tom Thumb today. So I definitely probably spent like 50 more dollars than I usually spend at Kroger's because Tom Thumb kind of like Target. You know what I'm saying? It's more bougie, it's more organized, it's more expensive. And I spent 200 and some dollars and I don't have very much. Oh y'all, and my delivery was a PayPal. I'm gonna have to give her an extra tip. I always tip 10%, but I'm gonna give her an extra tip because I gotta take care of my girls. You know, PMP, we all we got. Play money players. Pay money players. You hear me? We all we got. But I'm just in the office doing um some editing. It's a video gonna go up tomorrow, another weekly vlog so i'm just doing some editing and filming sponsorships so i really just didn't feel like leaving the house today i totally probably could have saved money by shopping on my own but try to listen i stayed up till five o'clock this morning watching different videos on YouTube about um, productive habits, like how to be more productive and you know, get things done. Cause it's a new year and I've already kind of fallen behind on like deadlines and stuff like that. But because 
I, I will say I have good rapport with the brands that I work with and the agencies that I work with. So I never really have to like worry about upsetting them that I'm late. But I really want to um, build productive habits and um, get better with like, cause I, I've never been a deadline driven person. Like I've always been a procrastinator in that's not really conducive to being a um, YouTube YouTube influencer. Like, it's not good. Like, you kind of have to be deadline driven when you are YouTube influencer because you're going to have sponsorships and they're going to want you to post at a certain time. So, being productive and becoming more deadline driven is a goal for the year I, I do feel like i'm very productive and organized um i do plan my weeks out okay 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 i do plan my weeks out um and my days out and stuff like that and i have a to-do list and i'm doing my digital planner and stuff like that but um really boggling down on creating routines and habits like making productivity a habit, making being deadline driven a habit instead of procrastination a habit. So that's something that I'm definitely working on. And I stayed up till five o'clock in the morning watching different like videos of like people that have like created routines around becoming more productive and making and how to make it a habit of being productive and having like planned out days all right what did i get at tom thumb the usual white castle sliders i like making these when i'm like hungry but i don't feel like cooking so you know i do want to make um fried cabbage so i bought a green cabbage some green onions bell peppers um sausage because i kind of want to make like a jerk shrimp fried cabbage i seen a recipe on instagram so i want to try it out i got some eggo french toast waffles some cucumbers so i can make um vinegar in what is it cucumbers and vinegar vinegar cucumber oh child what is it called i i love making it it's like oil and vinegar cucumbers with like salt and pepper I forgot what it's called. See, that's why you gotta start reading. We're gonna order us a book today too. I'm gonna order Atomic Habits. While we talking about habits of uh, effective people, I wanna order Atomic Habits. I got these takeout crispy wings, green, what are these white grapes? Oh, yeah. Green grapes because Perfect night and nighttime snack. Perfect. And very fulfilling, actually. A bowl of green, a bowl of green grapes will make you full. And pee. They were out of Simply Watermelon, but y'all have been saying that um Simply is kinda like bad for us. I kinda knew the Simply Lemonade was bad for us because baby, the, the amount of sugar in that lemonade, whew, can't be good. So I tried, I'm going to try the Cran Watermelon because I love watermelon drinks. So I'm trying to Cran Watermelon. I got some ground turkey. Don't really know what I got it for, but I got some ground turkey. So we're going to try to eat it. Every time I get ground turkey, it stay in the refrigerator so long it go bad and I end up wasting food. So we're going to try to eat it. Some cinnamon rolls. They only had this little small thing. So, I mean, it's just me. A whole bunch of my salads we're going to try to eat today is thursday so we're going to try to have all of these eaten because i bought four bags by next thursday because they don't last long she just say best if used by january 26. what's today some rusted potatoes because i want to start making me like a baked potato with like different toppings every day um because I'm, I'm about to get back on my weight gain journey i got some more boost as you can see um this home run in premium meat lovers pizza it's for a lazy day because y'all know when i'm in the mood to cook i'm in the mood to cook but when i'm not i am not and then i got a whole box of the cup of noodles and you can put all kind of toppings on it too 
So yeah, that's what I got at the grocery store. I knew this piece was gonna, I knew this piece was gonna uh, be different. I can't wait. We gonna let it cool off so we don't burn the roof of our mouth. So while this piece of cooling down, I'm gonna go ahead and get me some energy and calories in from this boost. Cause I ordered another 12 pack of these. I'm trying to get back on my weight gain journey. But today has been a work day. Today is Thursday. Today has been a work day all day today. I woke up this morning, filmed two sponsors. And now I'm sitting in my computer editing the vlog that will go up tomorrow. Because another vlog gonna have to go up Sunday. Probably this one that I'm filming right now. That's going to go up Sunday, so, yeah. And then one last video, the last day of the month. But we edit in Quita's actual birthday vlog right now, so... Y'all, my reel from I made a reel. So y'all know, like I said, I never do reels like that. I'm just not, it's just not my thing. Reels do not pay. I don't know how TikTok does, because the girls seem to love TikTok, like TikTok pushing out them coins, but reels do not pay. So I really don't waste my time doing reels. I feel like reels really just for exposure and get you some followers. We've talked about this in another vlog, so I won't go into detail, but the reel that I did of me in the jet car in Dubai, when I tell you so many people have like, I won't use the word stolen, but so many people, that reel went viral and is doing so well that other people are using my reel on their page so they can make money on their page. So this page, Coco Brown Travels, how do we yell? So this page just reposted it. It's like a lot of travel agency, uh, travel agencies reposting it, like luxury travel. I've seen about four different travel um, Instagram pages that have reposted it. I don't know how to feel about that. Like Instagram needs to be on some YouTube type shit where I can monetize dead because i already don't make no money off my reels so people reposting my reels like it's they real so they can monetize it i don't know about that i'm just playing <sighs> social media life people be real quick to say be authentic be authentic but child authenticity is so short-lived Cause soon as you do something and something somebody like it, they gon' they gon' do it. They sure gon' do it. Y'all, this piece is so damn good. Now, I ain't, I ain't had nothing to eat all day. So you know food tastes a whole lot better when you real hungry. But this don't taste like a store bought pizza. It tastes like a box pizza. It tastes like a pizza from Chicago. It's so flavorful. It, it's not giving school pizza. It's not giving DiGiorno. It's giving Chicago pizza. This is a good ass pizza. Today, Thursday. Today has been a work day all day. Today, I have been in my gown, in my robe, chilling out, maxing, relaxing out cool, shooting some b-ball outside of the school with a couple of guys. Set them up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood. All right, you guys, you know what time it is. It is HelloFresh time. You know, I have worked with them many, many times on a lot of previous videos. I've been working with HelloFresh for about 
I want to say two years now, at least once a month, but I get my groceries twice a month because they always come through in a clutch. And I want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Um, whenever I don't feel like cooking or I have a lot on my plate for the week, I can always count on HelloFresh to remove the rut out of my life. That way I don't have to go to the grocery store. I don't have to go up and down aisles. All I really have to do is sit at my desk and pick which meal option I want to pick for the week. So, you know, they have veggie options, fitness and wholesome, family and friends, meat lovers, pescatarian, they have quick and easy meals. I mean, breakfast options, lunch options, dinner options. And I have cooked a range of different meals with HelloFresh. I've tried their fit and wholesome. I've tried their family. I've tried the meat lovers. I've tried the pescatarian. I love the pescatarian the most, especially the surf and turf that I cooked last month. That was delish, okay? And me and my daughter, we absolutely loved it. Today, I'm making the Italian chicken spaghetti. I have actually made this before. Um, on a previous vlog so i know that this is going to be very tasty and it's very quick and easy it only takes five minutes to prep and 30 minutes to cook and it's going to last me for the next two to three days because i like to meal prep whenever i eat hello fresh now if you guys want to try hello fresh out for yourself i highly recommend all you have to do is go to hellofresh.com and use my code 21 Payton for 21 free meals plus free shipping across a few boxes. And thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. So yesterday was an emotional day. Um, I talked to Ray. Um, he had uh, actually just texted me and asked me how my day was. And, you know, I just vented a little. And he sent me those flowers. They're so beautiful. Today is a better day. I actually left my, um, I got some good rest. And I, I feel like sleep always helps, even though I totally went to sleep at like, three o'clock this morning. I need to start back taking my melatonin because I have not been going to bed early and I have been sleeping past 10 a.m. It's crazy because I wake up at eight, like I open my eyes, but once I see that it's still like super early, uh, my body is just not ready to get out of bed. So I'm gonna try to start a routine of waking up, like really pushing myself to get out of bed. I'm gonna say eight. Should it be seven? To see how much I can get done and be productive. So in February, I'm gonna start doing it. And because it's a short month, we will see how it works out for me if like if that is a routine that I can start because I have never been never been like never been a morning person I have always been all my life a night person I have always stayed up till the wee hours of the morning ever since I was a little girl so getting up early has never been my thing like I do not approve no I'm serious not being seriously though it's never been my thing I've always been a night person even when I was like in college for pre-med, I was always saying that I would, it, when I become a doctor, I would always pick the night shift because I just, I just function so much better at night. So I'm going to try to start a routine next month um, in February of waking up early to see how much more productive I can be and try to create healthy habits. Um around productivity in deadlines because i had quite a few sponsors this month um me taking the break that i took um earlier this month it proved like i, I shouldn't have taken that long break like 
because there are a few sponsors that's gonna have to be pushed into February just because I don't know what made me think that I would be able to do all of those sponsorships in two weeks. So yeah, um, but I left my driver's license and if I plan on going anywhere tomorrow for Sunday fun day or even just out drinking, I need that. So we are gonna pop over to the gun range and while I'm there, I am gonna shoot Lola. I decided to name my, my gun Lola because since it's no safety on it, you can't play with it, can't play with it, can't play with it. Come on, baby, don't play with it. You hear me? Um, you, you, you cannot. So yeah, her name is Lola. Shout out to Lola. Uh, is it Lola Monroe? Shout out to her too, cause it was easy to come up with a name. As soon as one of the paper, I was like, you gotta name your gun. I was like, oh, I'm gonna name her Lola. So I'm gonna I'm um, test out Lola because the Hellcat that I was shooting at the gun range, um, I loved the recoil. I loved everything about it. It was a little difficult to load. I'm not gonna lie, in the one that I have, I feel like it's difficult to load. So I'm gonna order a quick loader or something like that that y'all been telling me about i'm gonna order one of those in a holster um and oh yeah so when i was shooting it there were points where it would not fire so like i was squeezing the trigger and it would lock not not necessarily a jam but i guess that specific hellcat because it wasn't exactly the same hellcat that i bought but that specific Hellcat, and I watched a few videos on it, and this is like a known thing. This one guy was making a video, and he was like, this needs to be recalled. Because if you don't put your finger in it a certain way, um, it will think that you're pushing on the side. And the side of the trigger um, causes it to lock like a safety uh, method, a, a safety safety mechanism. Um, so you have to literally put your finger all the way in and pull in order for it to actually fire. And he was like, this is not a safe gun because the whole point of this gun, the reason why it doesn't have a safety is because it is a defense gun. Like you only pull it out when you like really, really need it. So um, if you go to, you know, fire it and that happens, you know, it could, it could turn out bad for you. So after I saw that video, I went upstairs, nothing loaded. I was just like squeezing the trigger to see if it like mine would do that and it wasn't. So I'm going to go and fire it today um, to see um, how it shoots and you know what I'm saying, practice with it and things like that. And so, you know, since I'm, I got to go up there anyway to pick up my license, I might as well, you know, you know fire off a couple of rounds plus yesterday was very very emotional for me y'all i'm not gonna go into detail about it but like i cried a lot um i definitely feel like i'm having a little separation anxiety from Karen not being here and the equita leaving so um i don't know girl like i say i like being alone but like yesterday i just felt like I ain't want to do anything and I had plans for yesterday. So we're going to do, we're going to be productive today. I got to go to the gun range. Um, I'm going to redo my pantry. I'm going to wash my hair and get it prepared. I'm actually going to a new stylist that I found on Instagram. She's like amazing um, with like silk presses and I've even seen her do a couple of tape ins. I'm not really a tape in girl, so when when I go to do my silk press with her, I'm gonna ask her like, you know, how does she feel about installing clip ins? Like, is that something that she does? Because I would much rather do clip ins than tape ins, just because I don't wear my natural hair long enough to commit to tape ins. And the price for tape ins, I wouldn't want to pay that price, and I'm more than likely gonna put my hair in a ponytail and put a wig back on. A week later you know what I'm saying but I don't know maybe we'll dye my natural hair and actually do something with it because it's still cold it's gonna be cold for probably like the next month and a half here in Dallas but yeah the 
the the the flowers the centerpiece is beautiful these are the same ones that ray got me um during vlogmas i want to say it was vlogmas yeah um so i'm gonna try to keep these alive longer than the last ones because the last ones one of the paper i said to put sugar and vinegar and all kind of stuff in the water first of all it made the water really stinky i would never do that again i'm sorry sis but thank you I would never do that again. So, um, while I'm out, we'll probably go somewhere and get some, like, rose food or something like that. Because I really want these to live a really, really long time. Like, at least a month. Is is that doable? I don't know. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Uh-uh. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Uh, uh, uh. Just lay in it. Can anybody guess what's in this big old box? Can anybody guess? If you guessed some boots, you are absolutely right, baby. Why I ordered the black ones? The black, the chocolate brown ones that I have that I have tussled and struggled with. All my life I had to fight. Yeah, baby, I don't order the black ones. I just, I listen. Listen, when I tell you the struggle that I have gone through all my life to find a boot that can fit my legs, even my Givenchy shark boots, even though they're totally calf boots, they're the mid-calf version, I don't have the, the knee version. Even those boots don't fit my legs. My Christian Louboutin boots that I just got, they don't fit my legs. From the front, it kind of do, but from the side, no. These are literally the closest boot to fitting my leg completely. So, I had to get the black ones. Tell me that is not a sexy boot. You can't tell me it's not a sexy boot. It's a sexy boot. I get so many compliments off the, the brown boots that I I got so many compliments off those boots, y'all. It was only right to get the black ones. I don't care how much I gotta struggle. We all struggle in some points throughout, in our life. If I gotta struggle with my boots, hell, I'm okay with struggling with my boots, but I ain't struggling with no boy. How about that? I ain't struggling with no bitch. This huge, heavy Louis Vuitton coffee table book. Wow! This book is huge and heavy. Wow! So it's a coffee table book, but I'm not gonna put it on a coffee table. I'm gonna put it on a uh, floating shelf. Which I don't know. This book's so damn heavy. I probably don't want to do that. This book heavy as hell. And it's actually the real book. It ain't like blank pages. It's the real Louis Vuitton book. Modern luggage in 1854. 1854, child. Hmm. Louis Vuitton, what's tea? Cause there was some shit going on in the 1800s. Were you a part of that? This may be a coffee table book I actually read. Okay, you guys, so this is what we are wearing today. I'm getting ready to head to brunch to meet Quante. She's from Memphis and also a vlogger. So what are we wearing? I have on a scarf from St. Perry, my Chanel sunglasses. This top is from the Vixen collection. The jeans are Levi's and then I'm also wearing my um, Christian Louboutins. I forgot what these are called, but yeah. And then my 
Fendi bag. So I feel like it's a cute brunch look. Like I ain't want to get like too dressed up, but cause my, un honestly my hair not done. I'm gonna do it tonight. I need to wash like my natural hair. So yeah, this is the look. Ooh, honey, me and Lola riding around being fast. I feel safe and protected. Lola in the passenger seat like, what's up? Hey, bitch, what up? All right, Quante was telling me about this place called Ellen's. She said they had a really good brunch. I have never been. It's about, it's not that far from me. I feel like anything 10 to 15 minutes away is like right around the corner. So I just say right around the corner. It's right around the corner. So we are headed there. She's already there. So um, yeah, we're about to have us a little brunch and a nice little Saturday with the girls. You know, when it come to my Memphis girls, yeah, you know the vibes. Cause Memphis just hit different, you know what I'm saying? So today's scent of the day is another 13 and I put on Joe Malone's Mir and Tonka body lotion um and wow that combo is amazing i didn't spray on the mirror and tonka cologne which i have but the body lotion with another 13. i'm gonna be giving y'all combos all this year okay because we spent a lot of money last year on perfume that we need to wear you know what i'm saying it's not just for decoration or collection we need to wear this so i'm gonna give y'all a lot of combos this year we're still gonna be buying new perfume though but like i said i'm not a perfume hoarder and i feel like a lot of perfume smells the same so you might not see me buy as much perfume because i feel like when one perfumer sees something is like super popular then they make their version of it so, you know, you know, like I'm I'm not real eager to buy new perfume if I already have something that smells like it. So, we're going to be giving y'all combos this year to make your own scent. Like layer it with different stuff so it can smell different. Cuz we all walking out here smelling the same. Some of us. Maybe I had to go back to my Joe Malone. When I tell you this winter, my skin has been itching so much like my dry skin is on the fritz right now. It's going crazy. Like, I just be in my bed scratching. So, I had to go back to my Joe Malone because Joe Malone literally cures eczema. I have said it. I have said it. My favorite body lotions from Joe Malone is Mary and Tonka. Stay in the left two lanes. Wood Sage and Sea Salt. That was the first one I got. And when I tell you, it literally moisturizes and hydrates your skin like no other. It's giving eucerin on steroids. And then uh, mimosa and cardamom. I love that body lotion. Ooh, we. I wear that at night Turn in the bed. Left onto Corbin Street. It smells so good, y'all. Those are my top three body creams from Joe Malone. And all of them, when I say all of them, are cures for eczema and dry skin. All of them. So, find the scent that you love i also have velvet rose and oud i'm not like really crazy about that one though like i wear it but i like velvet rose and oud honestly as a home fragrance more than a body fragrance but when i run out of my other ones i will use it because all of the body creams are really great for dry skin so you heard it here first go into the chapel and well go Sorry, here you are. There you go. Hey, girl. Did you shoot nice. me? This was nice. Did you shoot me today? Oh, man, you shoot at me. If you stay ready, girl, you ain't got to get ready. You smell good. Thank you. You know what I got on. See, I mix it. That's why you confused. I layered it with mirror and tongue. We got on another 13. It smells, you know what it smells like? Good. It smells like this uh, powder. I know you know what I'm talking about. My grandma used to have it. 
not that it's pink, but it came in, it came in a round container and it had a, it had a duck on the top of it. A duck? It had a duck on the top of it. And it was real heavy. And when she was putting her perfume on there, she would dab it and like dab the her stuff. That's the smell of the stuff. My grandma like had that too. My grandma had one of those. I don't know if, it, if she had the one you talking about, but my grandma definitely had one of those. I used to love that mm. powder. Mm. What happened to that powder? That's what it smelled like mixed together. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. It's another 13. Hey, y'all. Here's a Quante. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, I've had the pancake chop pie before. I've had the shrimp and grits. The shrimp and grits is real good. Okay, 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 okay. You would think you know. And for the pancake, can I just get it? Hey, y'all. Like, enjoy the This one? Do they come? How do they come? I know. I said Lola Monroe earlier, y'all. I mean Lola Brooke. Her name Lola Brooke. I said her name wrong. Forgive me, Lola girl. But yeah, I'm about to shoot. I'm about to uh practice with Lola. You hear me? Oh y'all, smells so good. This combo here pressure. I'm gonna start coming over here. Ooh. Fuck you, Tom Bell. Yeah, Jet. Yeah, Jet. <laughs> you scared? Y'all, Quante. <laughs> Y'all, Quante said she want to come to the gun range. She ain't never came to the gun range before. She said she's scared. Now I'm scared. And now I got to pee. Don't be scared. Let's do it. to get a few essentials and also a um, mattress pad. Melrose plus little body cream with squalene. I wanna try this whey body cream. Have y'all tried this? It smells pretty good. They also have a body scrub, but I don't need no more body scrubs. I am so good with my skin potion body scrub. So good. It's pro retinol body butter. Whatever this is, this Josie Moran is sold out in Target. Amazon for magazine holders. 
And why I get one with my Hellcat? I didn't even realize it until I'm looking on Amazon and I'm like, wait a minute. Chai. Go, go, go to one of the trainings so you'll get versed on this stuff because, I mean, first of all, I was in the military years ago, okay, over, a, over two decades ago, and we didn't have these. This is definitely it, but I don't know if I'm doing this right. It's a little learning curve. Okay. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Oh, this makes it so much easier. Baby, I ain't gonna get caught in that. I will not get caught slipping there, show Lane. Show Lane, how about it? So I switched the switched this out and I put the little wooden bead around that the balls in this bowl and I made that like that. So I like it. I kind of feel like some need to be right there, but I'm gonna leave it alone. And then I put my chat book back on the coffee table. Look at this picture, y'all. That is a cold ass picture right there, baby. I need this wig again. I need to do my hair like this again. That flip over method was cute as hell. Come on, body. We need to get all of this back. That shape back, all of that. All right, next we about to tackle this pantry. I'm procrastinating. I really don't feel like doing it. I really don't. But we about to tackle this pantry next. Go ahead and get that together. And then... I'm gonna go down and um, get the bed sheets off Karen bed and wash those. And I bought a new um, mattress topper, a memory foam mattress topper. I ran into this guy in Target and he was looking at him and he was talking about how his back, um, it, it really helped his back. And um, he recommended the one that I got. He actually was like the one that he got from Tar I mean from Walmart was better and it was half the price, but Baby, you know I ain't finna go up in no no Walmart around this time. If I'm gonna go to Walmart, I go to Walmart in the daytime, early in the day, when there ain't that many people. So I pay one ninety nine for it. I'll show y'all which one I got, but it's three inches, and he said it helped his back tremendously. Like he don't have no problems, cause. I toss and turn so much, y'all. I had a mattress topper on it, and then. Um, I really felt like it caused me more harm than good um, as far as my back. So I took it off and I just been sleeping on the um, the low mattress on its own. But I still toss and turn. I still feel like I can't go to I can't sleep with pillows because I'm gonna wake up in serious back pain so i bought this one because he um recommended it the guy at the store he was really nice he even picked it up and put it in my basket for me because it is heavy as hell excuse my hair y'all but yeah i'm gonna do this pantry change my bed sheets wash camera sheets and change her sheets and yeah little minor updates but y'all i am so Girl, I am so mad at myself that I didn't realize I had a magazine loader the whole time. I done had a magazine loader the whole time. And I've been struggling. When I tell you, this finger right here is so sore. This thumb is so sore. And like, 
these two fingers are sore because I struggle loading the clip. And the whole time I done had a magazine loaded, it came with the Hellcat. Oh boy. Dun dun dun! Oh child, look at this. Well, you can't say I don't have food. You can't say that. Oh Lord, okay. Let's get to it. October Okay, it looks so much better, right? So much better. So, I mean, based on the bins that I got from at home, I just really wanted to make sure that I could see what's in my pantry because one of the things about me is I was like, you know, you, you know, using the, the pantry, I realized that I would forget that I had things in my pantry so now that i can see okay i have a lot of oatmeal when i go grocery shopping you don't need oatmeal because i don't really make grocery lists i'm gonna start this year i'm, I'm trying my best to be so much more organized and productive this year so um as you can see i got a lot of ritz crackers don't need them so we're gonna be eating a lot of tuna fish and crackers but I wanted to make sure that it was functional with things that I actually eat, like this shit ain't for decoration, stuff that I actually eat and use. So um, I got this spin idea for my sauces and oils and honey and all of that. I got this idea from um, Khloe Kardashian. Her pantry went viral and they the shade room reposted it and it just made me feel like, wow. You don't even have a pantry that big and your pantry looks a mess. So it inspired me to want to go ahead and organize my pantry. I said, okay, that is something that I'm going to do this year. I'm going to organize my pantry. So I saw that she had her um, sauces and stuff like that on like this little uh, Lazy Susan. So that's why I got that. So I could just spin it in and easily grab what I need. And I got some in the back there too. Um donuts snacks here my grains for my granola um 
my parfaits are here all of the crackers any pastas um a lot of the stuff over here is what you need to add water you know what i'm saying you know you got your oatmeal your coffee your rice cup of noodles back there everything over here is like this is stuff that you just add water to and you can easily eat um and then i got some um uh, now why do I got crawfish, shrimp, and crab boy? I'm not gonna ever make that. That's supposed to be catfish meal. But then I also got these. Um, a PayPal sent me these. They from Nashville too. So I need to make me some fried chicken. Cause I'm about to start making soul food more. Soul food so hard to come back here. I'm about to start making soul food. I don't really eat a lot of canned food. So the canned foods that I do have are like right there in that little roll type of thing. And I can also put sodas there as well. I got my teas in the same bin as my vitamins from Care Of. And then little snacks. So um, all of my rice is together. All of my teas are together. I just tried to make it organized so I can see it. It's not in alphabetical order. It's not in any particular order. It's based on what I would... Like, if I want a snack, I know to go right here and grab some snacks. If I want granola, I know right here is going to be my granola. If I need pasta, um, lasagna and pasta is up there. But then I also have, like, elbow, elbow mac and cheese there. If I want, like, some Jolly Ranchers or some, like, candy, all my fruit roll-ups and Jolly Ranchers are right here. So, I put everything together based on, like, how I would eat it. And that's basically how I did my pantry. Um, all of these coffee beans, try it's probably, like, three different types of coffee beans in here. But I don't drink coffee that much. And I feel like, honestly... It wouldn't make a difference if they got a little, like a couple of coffee beans got mixed in with the other one. So like at the bottom, it's probably like a dark rose. I think this is a medium rose and then at the top is a light rose. But if they mix together, I, I really don't care because I mean, coffee is coffee. It's all going in one hole coming out the other. Hello. Now, while I was in the mood to organize, I went ahead and did my season cabinet. And it looks so much better now because at first a mess but now i'm in the mood to cook because everything is just so much more organized so yeah getting my life together is this a part of romanticizing your life is being organized because i feel very romantic right now like i feel like i want to have company and just start opening cabinets so i could brag like yeah would you like some spaghetti would you like some college greens and corn spreads? Now y'all didn't tell me that organizing was going to be so hard on the body. Y'all didn't tell me that. Y'all did not. I had to take two breaks. Mm-hmm. My back started hurting. Bad. Y'all had to lay down. Two breaks. Two. Y'all didn't tell me that pantry organization felt like a whole eight hour work day y'all didn't tell me that see you influencers y'all be leaving shit out you know y'all be putting y'all music and voiceovers over them over the, y'all be leaving shit out i'm tired and i still have other things to do this should have been the last thing i did because making my bed changing the sheets it don't take as much energy as organizing a pantry. Baby, if I was um if I was a a character in a video game, this would have depleted all of my energy. I would have had to go and reload. Am I making sense? Yeah, I'm tired. That was a lot. And I still have to take all of the trash that I you know, because it was it was it, there was a lot of expired food in there. You know, Jiffy Bread from 2019. Yeah, I have to take all the trash to the trash can. I'm really not done. I could have used some assistance. Quita was here and she wanted to help me do it. But you know what? It's just some things you got to do by yourself. Because you don't want people to have that memory of the damn. You had some Jiffy Cornbread in your pantry from 2019. And did.
Okay, so this is the mattress topper that I got. It's a three inch serene foam mattress topper. It's Casa Luna. Casa Luna. That bad boy was $200. Baby, I better sleep so good and feel like I'm laying next to Jesus. hurting already now that I have to put the cover on it myself oh god late at night I can't get enough this is too much oh this stink no wonder they said hurry out Why it smell like that? Bro, life, life can't ever just be simple. Life always gotta be hard. Like always. First it stink. First the motherfucker stink. Second, you gotta air it out. Third, you gotta put the cover on it yourself. It's just too much. And in my hand because I'm yours. I can't, I can't pretend I can't ignore your right Don't think you wanna know just where I've been oh. So it looks like I'm probably going to be sleeping in Kyron's room tonight or on the couch. Preferably Kyron's room because that couch ain't. Mm -mm. But it looks like I'm going to be sleeping somewhere else because that mattress topper, oh my god, it feels amazing. I feel like I'm about to have some great nights sleep. But the whatever they that smell that's coming off of it you gotta air out you gotta air out so if you get that mattress i got it from target if you get that mattress topper make sure you air it out good 24 hours it says four hours on the little manual when you're unwrapping it 24 hours baby probably even 48 because it is very very strong I wouldn't even cover because it comes with a cover and it's just you put it on like a fitted sheet. I was thinking that you got to put it on like a duvet. You put it on like a, a fitted sheet. I wouldn't even put the cover over it. I would like literally just let it air out completely 24 hours and then cover it with the, the fitted cover that goes over it and then put your bed sheets on because it's very, very strong and I'm sneezing. I don't know why I'm sneezing, but now I'm all of a sudden I'm sneezing. So they it says that you know if you have allergies, it could like cause you to you know an allergy flare up. So just keep that in mind because the smell is very very strong, um, but it feels amazing. It does. 
I laid on it. It feels amazing. I can't wait to sleep on it tomorrow night, hopefully. Um, but yeah. I can't stop sneezing now. Yeah, I guess I'm about to eat me some grapes and call it a night. Make me some wine so I can go to sleep because the wine makes me sleepy. We love that. Oh, look. It's given a hidden refrigerator. Ah! I'm loving my pantry now. I'm like so proud of myself, y'all. It's given a hidden refrigerator now. The way I have it like organized. It's coming like a refrigerator with the with the shelves and the and the drawers, the the bins. I'm like a refrigerator. I like it. Hey. Okay, organization. 